What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're talking about Chucky Season 3 in this video here again today. This is going to be a video just talking about some of the latest comments that have come out from Diamond Cindy talking about and explaining Chucky's motivations for being at the White House. Well, teasing it while also teasing what to expect in the later half of the season as it explores Dembala a little bit further and how that ties into why Chucky is at the White House because it yes it does have something to do with Dembala. And I also want to touch on the concept or the rumor I see online about Devin and Devin dying and going into if that's true or not, because that's not something that I can't disclose. And then I will also mention this other comment that Dom Mancini had where he's teasing returning legacy stars. So I've at, I actually want to start off with Dom Mancini's comments from Screen Rant. He said that I'd actually been interested in the White House and the actual lore about ghosts and hauntings in the White House for a long time. I've been researching that for a long time because originally I was going to do something completely separate and non-Chucky related with that. But with every season of the show or every movie, we try to radically reinvent it in some way. The White House just seemed like a really cool playground and a new playground for Chucky to operate in. Because first, the restrictions that you might assume he might have, but at the same time, the unique opportunities that being in the seat of power could present a maniacal entity like Chucky. Viewers themselves will gradually learn there's more going on here than just Chucky in the White House, and that really starts to pay off in episode five and continues on through the back half of the season. And then linking that with our own lore about Dembala and the opportunity to expand that in tandem with the ghosts and spirits. It just seemed like it was time to do it and it really allows for us to have some very interesting new stuff in the show. Tonally, we get into some degrees of surrealism in the back half of the season that is rather new to us. So, some of you actually saw episode three during New York Comic Con and a couple of you actually messaged me. Some of you even tweeted me about seeing what I mean when I say the season became too much for me to suspend my disbelief. It really did start during episode three. The motive for Chucky is indeed going to be revealed this upcoming Tuesday. It actually got leaked online. So if you look hard enough, I'm sure you'll find it. I'm not going to go into all the specifics here. But Mancini kind of teased it above and it 100% correlates to the two down four to go line that you heard during this past episode. For those of you who've been following me on Twitter, you've seen me try to tease you guys just like I try to do every year. So my gripe with the motive is how Chucky discovers this issue because the context is more than a little nonsensical and it raises questions that I hope are just not being raised for the sake of having plot threads to circle back to. Then, despite how much of a callback the motive might be to earlier entries or whatever, it's the most unserious effort to date, purely based on the execution thus far. The way it's introduced, very wacky and very unserious and very just like, huh? It just raises questions <laughs> that I'm trying to still comp contemplate and understand this. Now you're telling me this motive underneath it all? like one at a time i'm still trying to comprehend what what the hell this is then again despite how much of a callback it is it's just so unserious it also was just fully hard to believe since we've seen what chucky is capable of doing such as the fact that he's been able to split his soul so he spent time researching a lot with that voodoo for dummies book and i did acknowledge this in my review and that's not to say that he knows everything, but it was just not a concept I could fully buy when we seen some of the extremes that he's been doing with voodoo. And then, oh, you suddenly didn't know about this. It was just like a hard thing to fully invest in. And then it didn't help the context of which he discovers it. It's still something that I'm just like, huh? I hope we learn what the hell was going on there when he's learning it in the second half of the season. Um, so like I just have to ask what the hell is I had to sit there and ask what the hell is going on what is this some of you are actually also concerned about Devin and I have to just say this why <laughs> why are you concerned about Devin I do not know where this started but there's this rumor that started I guess and this isn't one of the things that I don't that I have to hold back on sharing with you guys Devin and the trio I did acknowledge they're in all of the four episodes they're not going to be 
dying in this first half. They're not dying here. Devin isn't dying. Lexi isn't dying. And Jake isn't dying. They're not going anywhere. Some other characters might be dying, but it's not them. Also, let's talk about Don Mancini's comments about a legacy character possibly a returning or two in the later half of this season or in a possible season four. He said also again when speaking with Screen Rant, well, I can't say too much because I don't want to spoil things, but if maybe, but if maybe back half of season three, maybe we, maybe if we get to do season four, but absolutely there are others that I would like to bring in. I love Perry Reeves. I would love to bring De Silva. And we've talked a little bit about that. So maybe you'll see that at some point. I think Perry Reeves actually put out a video at one point, either during season one after season one or after season two or during season two at some point expressing the interest in returning and i think mancini here is confirming that they've talked about it so will De silva appear in the later half of season three or will she appear in the first half of season three you'll find out um you guys can let me know who you would like to see in the rest of chucky season three as a returning legacy star down in the comment section below i'm pretty sure a lot of you don't really care if you see andy or kyle again i mean <laughs> They, 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 they've kind of had their time in the sun. You can bring in some other legacy stars at this point if this is still something we need to keep doing and bringing in legacy stars. But I would rather, if they were to bring someone in at the most logical time as I can think of, Da Silva, depending on where she went from military school, she, maybe she's working in the government. Maybe, maybe. This this season seems like it's a perfect time to bring Da Silva back. So maybe she shows up in episode three four who knows i like how he was teasing also what to expect in episode five a little bit with his comments as well even though episode five hasn't been shot but let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below again devin is not dying devin is not dying during this first half devin might die during the second half now that's not me spoiling it either i don't know anything about the second half lexi devin and jake are of course fair game for the season but i at least know you're not gonna lose them that fast you're not gonna lose them that fast also mrs fairchild she's not the fake out death and it's not andy either but again let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.